Hey you guys, so I am over here waiting for deliveries and I have a question for you. So someone had walked in and they had brought in a remote control. It looked like a TV remote control. And they said that they had it in storage for, ah my gosh, <laughs> it's so bad. This, so, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm gonna have to, I'm trying to close this. Do you see how strong this wind is? Okay, I'm trying to, <laughs> I need a door stopper here. <laughs> so I'm trying to push this door closed. Hold up, hold up. This thing keeps opening, okay. Very, very professional, very, very professional. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So a person walked in with a remote control that they said that they hadn't stored for five years and they wanted to get it cleaned and I looked at it and this thing was dirty I mean it looked like there was muddy water in it but it looked like dried gravy <laughs> because it got into the buttonholes for lack of better description and they wanted to get it fixed and I told them simply we don't have anything over here I don't have any tools there's no cleaning solution and my question to you is what would you guys recommend that they do because they said they didn't feel comfortable cleaning it because they were concerned about water damage and most places I don't know where you could really bring a remote control <laughs> I don't, um, especially one that could possibly have had muddy, dirty rainwater in it. But I mean, like for the average consumer, I guess, you know, I, I didn't, I wanted, I was so tempted to tell them maybe you could wipe it down with alcohol, but I didn't want to let, I didn't want to advise them wrong, wrong or, uh, Windex? <laughs> that's that's what I would do. Yeah, it was like an old Philips remote. And I admire him for trying to get it repaired, but I don't I don't I don't know how to advise someone on that. Just open it and use some vinegar and toothbrush and follow with alcohol. Ah. Yeah, they weren't comfortable with taking it apart. They wanted to have someone over here clean it up that's what they said you know they wanted someone to clean it up and I don't feel comfortable taking someone's electronics especially if I don't have any liquid cleaner here except maybe Windex and doing it myself because my concern was is that okay let's say I go ahead and clean it up what if the thing suddenly doesn't work right I'm not opening it up I'd just be a superficial wipe Get some, use some raw cookie dough. Yeah, it's just a regular TV remote, but yeah, you know what? That's a really good point. I never, <laughs> you know what? That That's the thing. I, I told them, I said, yeah, if you want someone to look at your remote, you would have to go to the new location. <laughs> Lewis hasn't responded to me, but if someone goes in and brings a remote control, well, I sent them over there. <laughs> And they were asking me if there was any repair shops that would would probably clean it and I, I didn't know one off the top of my head. In hindsight, I should have said, oh yeah, definitely go go ahead and visit Sunny. Sunny specializes in dirty remotes with uh, grimy things in the buttons. <laughs> Yeah, but I should have I should have just gone ahead and uh, told him to wipe it down with something. I don't know. Or just buy a new one, like you guys said. I, I didn't think about universal remotes because it's been such a long time since I've had to deal with a remote control. Especially because if I have a broken remote control, I just go ahead and get the new model, like uh, in. Oh, hello. Hi.
Oh, hi. Are you to pick up uh, hard drives for Walmart? Um, did, did they tell you to specifically come to this location? Yes. The 186 one. That's the address. <laughs> oh, because uh, I don't know where the hard drive would be. I believe we have everything at the new location, the 141 West 27th Street. When did you speak with them? Just a few minutes ago. He said, uh, stop by Rosman, 186 First Avenue. Pick up uh, my hard drive. What was it? Uh, you think it? Can you find out for someone and see if it's? Uh, yeah, you know what? I will. I will give you. Um, I'll. I'll. I'll go ahead and uh make a quick phone call. Okay.